The first reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Let me now sing of my friend, my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stones, and planted the choicest vines. Within it, he built a watchtower and hewed out a wine press. Then he looked for the crop of grapes, but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had not done? Why, when I looked for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now, I will let you know what I mean to do with my vineyard. Take away its hedge, give it to grazing, break through its wall, let it be trampled. Yes, I will make it a ruin. It shall not be pruned or hoed, but overgrown with thorns and briars. I will command the clouds not to send rain upon it. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are his cherished plant. He looked for judgment, but see bloodshed, for justice, but hark the outcry. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. A vine from Egypt you transplanted. You drove away the nations and planted it. It put forth its foliage to the sea. Its shoots as far as the river responds. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Why have you broken down its walls so that every passerby plucks its fruit? The boar from the forest lays it waste, and the beasts of the field feed upon it. Response, the vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vineyard and protect what your right hand has planted. The Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Response, the vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. O Lord, God of hosts, restore us. If your face shine upon us, then we shall be saved. Response, the vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received, and heard and seen in me, then the God of peace will be with you. The Word of the Lord The Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a winepress in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat 
another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. The Gospel of the Lord Prayer of the Faithful Father, guide us into the way of peace, that church leaders and ministers may remain faithful to the Lord and to the community by living holy and exemplary lives, leading the flock by word and work. We pray, Father, guide us into the way of peace, that Christians everywhere may always remember their dignity as the Lord's cherished plant, His special possession, and strive to render Him fruits of goodness and justice. We pray, Father, guide us into the way of peace. But those who continue to offend the Lord and their brothers and sisters by their acts of corruption, injustice, and violence may be led to the path of repentance and reform. We pray, Father, guide us into the way of peace, that the Lord may protect the poor and the weak, restore the sick, comfort the suffering, and welcome into His kingdom the faithful departed. We pray, Father, guide us into the way of peace. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Father, guide us into the way of peace.